uh, I'm saying if if Pennsylvania is winnable for the president, he's he's handling it well. But that being said, it's a message to my fellow Democrats. You shouldn't be sitting on your mail-in ballots at all. There's no reason to. You don't use the mail at this point. It's too close to the deadline. You need to deliver it to a, a secure drop box and make sure you bank your vote. And that's my message is like, let's not take that chance. Like, just bank your vote. Very but it, simple. But, but are you saying that as of this morning, in your gut, you think Donald Trump is going to win Pennsylvania? No, not at all. Not not at all. I'm I'm just saying that 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 there's a lot that I don't think can be captured fully in polling, and that is the level of engagement that the president's campaign has taken on in Pennsylvania. I think in the last week, I count either it's his direct events or his surrogates with his family and others, probably over 15 events. And you saw that crowd in Butler. The the Secret Service estimated it at 50,000 plus. So there's uh, there's an inherent level of pop popularity there, uh, and you you have to take that seriously. Fifty thousand people. I didn't realize that that photograph. Because some people have wondered, you know, was it shot in a certain way that made it seem like it was bigger? You're saying that that's the estimate. Fifty thousand people. I, I read. I read the Secret Service estimated the crowd at fifty-seven thousand. And my my point is is simply that that uh, don't take my word for how competitive Pennsylvania is. The the run up to having me onto your your segment here just said how competitive it is.